So, today I have a new topic that I wanted to talk about, um, and I believe that I may have gotten a little bit into detail in past videos about this topic, but I wanted to kind of go, I guess, into length about it. I am going to tell you my coming out story, um, how I came out to my family, my friends, what they thought how they took it, um, and how it basically changed my life for the better. Um, so I came out when I was 19 years old, and um, I first came out to a few of my friends, and then I came out to my family. I was very nervous, like extremely nervous to come out to my family, because I didn't know what they would think of me, you know, or if they would disown me. So, come to find out, when I actually told my mom and my sister that I was gay, my sister says, yeah, we already know. <laughs> so I'm like, wait, what? You know? How do you know? Like, did I miss something that, like, what happened? So anyhow, um, she's like, we already knew that you were gay. I'm like, wow, well thanks for telling me, because I was hiding it all this time. So basically what happened on with that is I was kind of shocked that they knew. My sister said she knew because it was obvious that I was always bringing like girls home and I'd never really like brought any guys home. Um, I mean I guess it was obvious but I didn't think it was that obvious you know because in high school I wasn't out in high school. I knew in high school that I was gay but I pretended that I wasn't gay and I pretended that, you know, I pretended to have boyfriends and, um, you know, I dated quote unquote men, you know, in, in school and stuff like that. And I had boyfriends, like little crushes on boys. But the thing of it is, is I never really looked at a guy or a boy like, oh my God, he's so gorgeous or he's so cute or I want to kiss him or hug him. It was never like that. For me, it was like, it was the opposite. When I saw a girl, I'm like, she's so pretty, or she's so cute. She's got beautiful eyes. I love her hair, you know. Um, and I always found myself, like, just staring at girls. Um, even in high school, I would be sitting in class, and I would, you know, my girlfriends, my friends, some of them I looked at, like, you know, like, wow, I don't want to be just your friend. I want to be a lot more than that. Um, and at that time, I didn't really think anything of it. Um, I believe that I really, truly knew that I was gay when I was 13. Um, now, mind you, obviously, I did not come out or anything like that when I was 13 because I was 13. I didn't really know, no, for sure. Um, my first sexual encounter, though, was when I was 13 with a girl. And... Um, it wasn't like full-blown, you know, sexual intercourse or anything like that, but um, it was a sexual encounter with a girl when I was 13, and, you know, and then I felt like I was doing something wrong, but at the same time, it felt right. So, you know, then a couple years went by, and I had a steady boyfriend all the way up until I was... 17, 18, and finally I couldn't take it anymore and I came out to my family. Little did I know, they already knew, so it was like not really a big shock, you know. Um, thankfully, my family is very accepting to who I am, um, who I love. You don't choose who you love, you love who you love, so I'm thankful that my family understands that. Uh, my mom worried in the past of what people will, will, were going to think of me and, you know, if I was going to be bullied or picked on or made fun of because, you know, I liked the same sex. Um, you know, so she worried about that and she still does, I think, to a small degree, but has gotten a lot more calmer with trying to protect me because, I mean, she knows now that we're in such a big, what am I trying to say, you know, we're in 2000, almost in 2012, you know, 2012, so it's like, 
nothing should phase people anymore. I mean, it still does, but I don't know. So that's my coming out story. It's really short and it's not really, there's not really much to tell. Um, but people have been asking me to give advice on coming out. I get emails from people asking me, you know, saying, hey, you know, I'm gay and or I think I'm bisexual and I don't know how to tell my family or my friends or blah, 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 blah. So what I do is kind of summing up this video and all in one for people that email me because I can't make a video response for everybody that emails me. So this is just one big email for everybody that um, has been emailing me about coming out and advice about coming out. Um, I do have suggestions for that, um, for coming out. Uh, first of all, I think that, that people should say it out loud. And I know it sounds funny, like say I'm gay or I'm bisexual out loud because it makes it real and therefore it's not really a secret, you know what I'm saying? Um, you might want to take that first step by saying it out loud and, you know, in a way that's emotionally not feel, and you got to do it in a, in a way where it's not emotionally filled with like anxiety to your to your like family and your friends. So like, when you say to your family, "Hey, I'm gay," don't be like, "I'm gay." I don't know how to tell you this, but I'm gay. You have to have confidence in yourself and who you are. So, you know, like, don't just say it say it like you mean it say it because say it like you're proud of yourself hey you know what i'm gay or i'm a lesbian i'm bisexual um i believe that you should tell a, f a friend before you talk to your family or your parents because they may be able to help you you know um do it with somebody that talk to somebody that loves you like unconditionally and that would never judge you and if you think that that person will judge you then you should think again on maybe picking somebody else to talk to first. Um, I think that uh, you could even try, well I thought about this, you could even try a total stranger um, by telling them that you're gay, you know, and kind of practice on it, if that makes any sense. I know that sounds maybe a little weird, but you can just pick somebody, and I'm not saying like someone off the street, but just try telling somebody, you know, I mean, what, what is it going to hurt? Um, I give this advice in, in, a, in a blog a long time ago because I received wonderful emails from people that took, that took the advice on, um, you know, actually telling a stranger and when I first talked about this in a blog that I wrote a while back people actually were doing that and they were saying that it was a really good method and that they really helped them um, so you know you got to take it one step at a time you have to come out when you are ready you could you know you can't force yourself to come out um, I know that a lot of people want to come out, but they're so, so scared of what their family's going to think or being bullied, you know, but I swear that I think that once you actually do come out and tell people, you'll feel so relieved. Like a big elephant is like just off of your chest just from saying those two little words. I'm bisexual. I'm gay. I'm a lesbian. Those two little words are so powerful. And, um, you know, coming out to a stranger is just a suggestion to give the, um, the, what was I saying? To give the loud out thing a run out without giving the other emotions involved. You know what I mean? Like, you have to have so many more emotions when you tell your family. So, by talking to a stranger, obviously, I'm not saying, like, walk up to a construction crew on lunch break, you know, or on the microphone at, um, you know, a fundraiser and be like, I am gay. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm not saying to do that. Um, just pick a little harmless, safe 
feeling moment where you have no other emotional attachments and do it try it you know what's the worst that you can possibly lose nothing if anything you're gonna gain a good feeling um, af after you technically come out to a friend or family or a stranger and you're ready to do this with your family my advice to you is to stop trying to pick the perfect moment because you can't you can't there is no perfect moment there's no perfect time it's just when you feel ready you know um, everybody says there's like a waiting for the right time it, it's not there is an excuse there is no wrong time just do it like you said just do it <laughs> um, I can't anticipate anticipate the reaction I can't tell you what's going to accept and who won't accept you or who will love you and who won't love you you know or as it should be you know I can't tell you who is going to judge you or I can't tell you who's going to show you affection and who's not going to show you affection I can't tell you what's going to be that their heart is you know a godless love loveless peace you know or place I I can't tell you I can't tell you how they're going to react um, but I can tell you that no matter how bad it may be it is better than living in secret so it's better to just tell it than live into a secret because that's one thing I can tell you I can't tell you anybody's reactions on how it's going to happen when you do come out but I can tell you it's better than living in a secret um, it's better than not being yourself it's allowing people to know the real you and truth and light and just everything you need to let people know who you are I know it's scary and um, it's frightening and it was frightening for me as well and I'm not saying everybody's going to be accepting because not everybody is and maybe one day hopefully we'll live in a world where it's just extremely accepting but until then you know you gotta work with what you have so I mean I hope that some of these little tips or advice that I've given you will help um, you know I think that once you step out of that closet and say who you are and be proud about when you say who you are that there will be so much light at the tunnel and instead of saying light at the tunnel you will I like to say there is a rainbow in the sky you will see the rainbow in the sky um, power to the rainbows you know like I don't know instead of light at the end of the tunnel you will finally see the rainbow in the sky once you finally relieve yourself of that big burden weighing on your chest um, I hope that was helpful and um, if you have any problems or you know you want some more help or advice please feel free to you know uh, talk to me I will put some links down below of where you can go for help um, there's like there's places where you can go to talk and stuff like that where I promise there's people that will not judge you and if they do judge you then well you know what oh well because you know what you only get one life and why live that one life being the person that you're not be you because like I always say the you that you are is amazing so I'll talk to you guys soon and um, I have something really 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 big and important to tell you guys but I can't do that until I know exactly for sure so look for that video which should be within two days or so all right peace love and talk to you guys later bye Woo!